Hey everyone, my name is 92T and I'm an Ultimate Iron Man. We are going for the Master Tier Combat Achievements and you should probably check out my previous video to know where we left off. For now, we are trying to do some Slayer in hopes of getting a Combat Achievement task and what you know we just got a Tazar task, meaning that we'll be going for the Fight Caves Combat Achievements. To be fair, the only achievement that actually requires a task would be the Speedrunner and that's the one I'll be focusing on right now. To make my life a bit easier during this task, I decided to get some Shinchompas uh, to help me kill the small lava guys that spawn from the big lava guys. You know what I mean. Um, this task doesn't have like a lot to say, you just need to kill things very fast. Uh, but I do recommend the plugin called FC Spawn Predictor, so you can know which wave uh, is the next one, so you can be right next to the NPCs. This helps you lose as few ticks as possible and overall makes this a lot easier. Aside from that, I can just recommend you getting max gear. I think you can do this with Bofa, it's just a little bit harder. Good luck! Next, I'll be completing the fight caves with only melee. I got the Blade of Seldor as main DPS weapon, but I got a very big diverse uh, arsenal of spec weapons such as SKS for healing, Claws for DPS, Bulwark for tagging, the Crystal Albert if I wanna chill at a distance, you know. But do bring a stamina potion, don't be like me. And we are just finishing it up, we're just giving the last hit to Jad and you are dead. Facing Jad head on, completed, very nice, and we were running a bit low on supplies actually. I know I, I have noted pots and I was using trolls and I have a bunch of different spec weapons, uh, but still it was cutting it kinda close with the supplies. I mean, I, th I think I still had like the the death that I could abuse to get some... No way I got a pet on this run. It's not even a Slayer task. Look at this metamorphosis, the 6 shot was kinda worth it. The normal one is also cute, but nah, I like this one better. For this next one we cannot let the healers touch Chad, uh, which is a bit uh, harder than it seems because you kinda need to either kill it very fast, which I was not gambling on, so what I decided to do was I lured it into the entrance so they spawn very far from me, the healers, and you're able to tag them one by one very carefully because I messed this up in the past because if you move the one on west will actually be able to reach you so we just tag everything and now we should be able to do this task normally uh, yep just tag Jad and we should be good and that's the task we Gucci very nice six points for this kind of overkill but I take it now this task I had a lot of fun doing no time for a drink you cannot use prayer or get hit by any bats uh, but you can see we'll pray for all you want, as long as you don't mess up. Um, the strategy for this uh, is mainly relying on the plugin that I showed you before, uh, about predicting the waves. And I also didn't bother uh, using any protection prayers for the lesser threats. And for the mill years, I just decided to freeze them in place, so I have an easier time. I pretty much only decided to one tick flick the majors, which are the real issue of this task. Um, but I decided to take it really easy and slow and always knowing where the major is gonna spawn is a big big advantage because you can just safe spot it right away or deal with it right away, whatever you prefer considering the wave. And on Jad I just decided to play it safe and use Vengeance to finish it off. So overall I thought this task was very fun, very outside the norm, I honestly, I know this is kind of a cheesy way to kill Jad but it was so amusing to me that this is like a strategy, so yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this task. And it was my last combat achievement in the fight caves, meaning that we'll be moving on to something else. I'm still not sure what, maybe doing some Slayer or even something else, we'll see. Give me so. Mm, I don't think this is good. Or maybe, let's see if I have something to do here actually. I do have one task to do. How do I do this? With Barrage? I don't really wanna change my setup, so... Let's try and do this. Funny thing. Turns out you can just do this task if you spec it once and tab out before you get hit. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing for the next, what, 10 minutes? So I guess I'll see you at the end of that. So if I didn't mess up, this should be the task, correct? Correct.
correct as a prevention and tell me is complete let's skip this task and see what we get next Ooh, abyssal demons guess we're going sire then Never did the Abyssal Sire on this account, but I got some pretty decent gear for it. I got the stuff, uh, I'm just missing the imbued art and I guess the ring. And for melee I get the Fang with the full bundles. Uh, the gear is not that important because there's no speedrunner here. And that's our first KC. And one combat task done, don't stop moving. This one is the one that we can step on the pools. And that's another KC and another task done. This one is the one where you need to kill all the respirators in one cycle. And another KC, and another task done, don't whip me, don't get hit by the tentacles. Another kill and another task, this one is the one where you kill the sire so fast that the offspring can't become a menace. Now this one was pretty fun, it's called the demonic rebound and basically I went to get some vengeance just for this, basically you need to use Vengeance on the Teleport, so I'll be using one Void Waker spec to proc the Teleport and here we're gonna tank it and here's a 60 and a Void Waker and that's a nice combo, wombo combo, very nice now we're just missing the perfect Sire and the KC one, so we're gonna be here for a bit and we just get an Unsired at 16 KC it's 1 in 100, so very spooned and we get the easiest alk of my life, so really cast, yes cast, bling, bling, bling and another kill and we get the perfect sire, 18 KC in finally I really am trash at this game apparently 25 KC task and 50 KC task, all sire tasks complete let's move on to something else Now we'll be doing one of the most exotic tasks of the video. Here at the Calphite Queen we are supposed to kill it using a Verax Foil, but we do not have one and we're not grinding barrels for this anytime soon, so the alternative is to kill the Calphite Queen using only trolls and using a fun weapon to flinch her. So basically you need to kill the both phases of the Calphite Queen uh, using only troll damage which isn't that hard once you, the small minions start to spawn and you just flinch her every 3 attacks or so so your troll keeps making damage and after like 5, 10, 15 minutes, I have no idea you should get the task complete, right? right, here we go, task complete I'm out of here now we're here at the Zuro Swamp for our favorite snake and we have our mage gear, uh, max mage I guess, uh, currently without an imbued heart and Mazori with Tebow and Blowpipe I'm also wearing these uh, boots that we grinded uh, a few episodes back at the Cortez Guardians and Colosseum uh, they will be replacing my suffering here so let's see what tasks we still have left so only these speedruns I see the time we need to beat is 56 seconds Kind of a generous time, but uh, it still needs to be done. We do have max gear, except for the imbued heart, which should be our biggest uh, drawback in this setup because we are not match potted, and we are also not using any sort of vengeance spells. Uh, normally, you do spellbook swap here, but I C B A doing that to be completely honest. Uh, I'm also not scouting for any specific rotation, I'm just doing the KC as is and whenever I make the speedrun time, I make the speedrun time I'm not worrying extremely about this but yeah, so the thing that I think you need to worry the most is not losing any ticks and trying to last it with the Tebow on the mage phase which is what I'm gonna be doing right here, I probably should have double bow pipe spec though but it's fine and here I just get some decent RNG and I'm able to finish up the kill for the Grandmaster time uh, I'm not sure how much I made, I think it's 53, 54, I don't know, right on time, I think oh, 52 seconds, very good so, as you can see, it's a decent time, nothing amazing but more than enough to finish up all the combat achievements here at Zula I 
I just got a Cerberus Slayer task and much like Termi, I have a few combat achievements I still need to do to finish up this boss. Uh, I only have the KC ones though, because when I was grinding Cerberus in the past, the combat achievement system was still not out, so all these mechanical tasks are still to do. And the first one I'll be focusing on is called a No More, and pretty much uh, you can't spawn any ghosts. And for this there was a method I used way back in the day with Gutens, and I even made a video for it, which I'll link in the description in case you're interested, for old time's sake. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, there was even a website for this. Um, I'll also link it in case you're interested and if it's still available, you can check it out. Uh, basically, what you need to do is you need to put Cerberus close to 400 HP uh, in like the first one minute of the fight and then do not pass that uh, right away. You need to wait like a minute. And after a minute has passed, you just try to DPS uh, Cerberus as fast as you can. And if you're fast enough, you won't spawn any ghosts. Uh, so the timer has just passed, so I'll be doing some Void Waker specs now to burst him down. Uh, 246, 48, it's decent I guess, no no big deal. Um, I'm using a Blade of Sildor, which is not great, I should be using an Arc Light, but honestly I didn't want to go get it from the stash unit just for a couple of tasks. But uh, I'm oof, 57, I'm hitting pretty decently, so this should be the task done as long as I don't die, because I have no prayer and my food, I kind of don't want to eat my food, because it might stall my DPS enough that he might spawn ghosts. Um, but it seems like it should be mostly fine. I am I being chanced? I don't think I am. Okay, but I do need to dodge this, I look like an elderly person dodging this special. And that's it, I run no more, 5 points. No big deal, everything worked out in the end. For this next one you need to successfully deflect 6 soul attacks, so just uh, stall your DPS if you are going too fast, that's what I did, and uh, now I just need to finish up the heal and it should auto complete. And this should be the task. Yes, Ghostbuster, very good, easy 4 points. So this is a bit scuffed because I'm out of prayer, but I'm trying to do the task where you don't get hit by melee attacks, so I was praying melee most of the fight. Now I'm gonna start flinching it, I know this is super scuffed, but it is what it is, I'm trying to do this task. Uh, you also cannot be hit by the lava pools, so I think I did it. Yes, two tasks in a row, 8 points, and that's all the tasks in Cerberus complete. So I guess we'll be moving on to something else, but yeah, 3kc for all the tasks, that's pretty neat. Very efficient. There's a quest that's been gatekeeping a bunch of combat achievements, and that quest is called Desert Treasure 2. And we'll be doing this quest very fast, so I'll skip right to the end. And that's 2 hours of my life I'll never get back, but hey, at least I used the guide so I was not here for like the whole day. And I guess I shouldn't complain about time since I play RuneScape. Anyway, the quest is complete, let's try out the bosses. Meet Vardorvis, probably my most problematic boss in recent years. The fight itself is somewhat fast paced with you dodging axes, dodging a range attack that I had to install a plugin to see better, and who can forget the good old also tutorial in the middle of the fight. So I don't know if it's my lack of rhythm, or as my friends call it, the problem between the computer and the chair, but I can say for sure that I hate this boss. Regardless, we have a plethora of combat achievements that have to be done, and I'll be focusing on the KC ones so I have a better grasp of the mechanics, and who knows, maybe I end up enjoying this boss at the end, even though I think that's super unlikely. Oh goody, an awakened orb. Yes, I was having such a great time at the normal one, I can't even wait to see the treatment uh, the Awakened version is going to give me. This is also a combat task, which I won't do for a very long time, but I guess we can go check it out. And boom, deleted. Oh, another collection log. I won't use this, but I'll take the free virtual points, thank you very much. So now that we have done the fair bit of KC, I seem to not die every single one, which is pretty good. But the cheap damage here is insane and very annoying, especially because I have no Blood Fury and my inventory space isn't that great either. If I decide to do this boss in the future, I'll definitely farm a few shards to make this a bit more bearable. Regardless, 
budget cutter. Kill Vardorvis with 2 million gear or less. This is the setup I scuffed to do this task with, and also that pile to bring more supplies just in case. And boom, that should be the task done, let's move on. Next, we have the Axe Enthusiast. I guess uh, if I had to dodge everything, this would be a pain in the ass, but with a bulwark and a bag full of brews, with minimal dodging, I was able to cheese this task. Once the timer was up, I just Void Waker spec Vardorvis, uh, HP all the way to zero, and the task was complete. Nice. Now, I wanted to at least do the Master Speedrun time, but I noticed that these are hard, and when I mean hard, I mean really hard. You need good RNG and good gear to pull this off, and even with the Zerite crossbow resetting, which already is tryharding a lot in my book, uh, I thought this was very, very difficult. Regardless, even without a sight and a blood fury, we managed to snatch the master time after a bunch of tries. And that, but don't tell anyone. I won't be doing any more tasks here though, so let's move on to another boss. And here we have everyone's favorite monstrosity, Duke Succeus. I don't know how to spell his name, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna call him Duke. Duke Kawaii. And Mr. Duke has a prep phase that it's what everyone wanted, some skilling between kills, and this time that you are skilling or prepping for this boss also counts for the total amount of the kill. Lovely, so pretty much you cannot do these speedruns without getting good at gathering the supplies, which I think it's such a pain in the ass that I'm just going to skip all these speedruns altogether. Speaking of which, these are the combat achievements for Duke, and as before, I'll first focus on doing kill count for the KC achievements to get acquainted with all the mechanics. And that's our first KC, one task down, this one was pretty easy, just in making a normal KC. Oh, tablet! Huge! Huge for Duke, and also huge for the Phantom Muspa whenever we get there. Now this task is called Cold Feet, and basically it's doing a normal kill without run, including prep time. Not that hard, but the poison fall can be a bit tricky. However, with a good BGS spec at the start, the kill isn't long enough that I can mess this up. And just like that should be task completed. Very nice, cold fit done, 5 points, and he even gave me some pineapple pizzas. Thank you, pizza guy. And this should be another combat task, 50 KC, there it is, Duke Master, very good. Mirror Image is a Grandmaster task that you need to attack on the same thing as the Duke, except you can cheese this task with Recoil and Vengeance, and you bet that's exactly what I did. I grabbed my trusty Echo Boots, that's right, the grind nobody believed in from a couple of videos ago is proving useful, and with these Jordans, along with Vengeance and an unhealthy amount of bruise, I seriously trivialized this task. It did take forever though, but all I care about is the completion and I got it. Now, Perfect Vardovis might have been a little too much without death piling, but the Duke is much more forgiving. So I took it very easy and made 5 perfect kills very slowly in a row for the achievement. Prayer pots and uh, sea turtles or whatever you call that were more than enough supplies for me to do this task. I didn't even get a pineapple pizza drop so more than doable. As for the speedruns and the awakened completion I'll leave them for the 92T of the future because my work here for now is done. Now we are here at the Leviathan and I hope you like XP drops because the Zerite crossbow goes really hard here. Not only that, but with the Tebow and the Web Weaver, I have pretty much all the gear I need. The Web Weaver is for the special at the end of the fight to help rush the enraged phase. And now let's check out the combat achievements for the Leviathan and as usual we'll try to do the KC ones first, but I'll take whatever I can along the way. I for sure am not doing this correctly. Uh, yep, that's not how you're supposed to do this, but whatever, I'm learning. And that is our first very scuffed kill. Oh, 
<laughs> I got the double. It's first KC. Or first KC after the quest, it's whatever. And Serpentine Solo. I think this one, it's the one that, where you just do one stun, but that's pretty much all my kills. So, all my two kills. What the hell? So spoon. So spoon. That's a big XP drop. The Web Weaver is really powerful here. Two specs and you are done. Oh, ingot. Okay, this is good, but I don't know if I have the space for this. I kind of just wanted to do the combat achievements and didn't really want to commit to grinding a vestige. So um, for now I keep, for now I keep, I guess. Another up, another kill, and we got uh, CA done. Speed trialist, I was not counting on this, so pfft, it was pretty easy, I didn't do anything. What's with these Rees? Insane. What? Okay, this is world record. What's going on? Nah, that's a PB, 100%. 102! No way I did a Grandmaster time like that. Amazing. And you're d -d dead. Oh! Smoke Quartz, more collection log. Uh, just finishing up this kill, I was not at the orb. Can you please die, please, before I mess up? Thank you! Oh my god! No way I got a Virtus Robotum bottom at 28kc. Well, I guess it goes inside the POH. And this should be 50kc and our combat task completed, the Vitan Master, very good. This task is called unconventional and it says you need to kill the Leviathan while under 25 HP and with meteor ammunition. So when I first looked at this task I thought this was going to be a pain, but after reflecting on it I'm using a T-Bow and even with meteor arrows this thing slaps. So I also remember that you can just, you know, barrage the Leviathan whenever it gets too fast for you and so I just played it super safe and proc the specials whenever I wanted. And on the specials, I would just play it again, super safe. I'm just running around, I'm not over greeting for DPS or anything like that. I'm just playing it very controlled, keeping my prayers up, knowing what I'm doing. That's how I did this task. And uh, well, you can just try it whenever you like, but I did it like this and it works for me. Uh, on the last enraged phase, I tried to not overeat or anything like that and just focused on changing the prayers. And the task was done, I just had one try for this, so I'm proud of that, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is complete, time for our last boss. Meet Mrs. Whisperer, finally a boss with no chip damage. Shame that it got replaced with a lengthy fight, which I'm not too fond of, but regardless, you cannot have everything. And these are the combat achievements we have available here, and we'll be doing the KC ones first as usual, just so we get the mechanics down. First KC done successfully, 4 points, it is what it is, can't complain. Okay, that's one speedrun time done, but probably my last two, because I don't have an imbued heart, and it's like 36 seconds from this one to the next year, 
and that gives me a way too much Vardorvis vibes, I'm not doing that. So this task is called Tentacular and it's pretty easy. Not really any setup required other than being on the Arceus spellbook. Honestly, it's three points in my book, just kill the Whisperer with the Arceus, just you just don't barrage her and if you have to tank the melee hit, you just tank the melee hit. But usually you can be far away enough so you don't get any hits at all. Easy teleport, I take, thank you very much. No way, another one. Now I really need to commit to this. But after being master, not before. In this task you need to be in the Shadow Realm for less than 6 seconds and to make this a bit more chill I just tank the Spirit phase where you need to attack like the ghosts of it, uh, so I had plenty of time on the other phases. Honestly it was kind of cheesy method to doing this but yeah, easy peasy Grandmaster task completed, 6 points, I can complain. I did go for the perfect Whisperer though, so this one only requires prayer pots if you do everything correctly because of no chip damage and honestly I think that's the easiest one of the four to do this task just because of that uh, because I'm on a limited space as you know this is who I am you understand done and done Oof, 35 kc we still need to do the 50 kc and this one is our final task from the whisperer uh, 50 kc and we are just missing the Waken boss and the PBs, which I won't be doing right now, I'm sorry, but I'll leave that for the 92T of the future. 92T of the future, you have a lot to do, brace yourself. But uh, this video has been going for quite a while, so I'm ending it here. I know we are in the final stretch, but the Master CAs will be done on the next video, uh, which will come out very soon, I promise you that. But for now, we are done. So I want to thank you if you watched this far, apparently you enjoy my content if you watch like 25 minutes of me doing the most embarrassing things ever. Uh, if you do so, maybe consider subscribing, it really helps a lot. Even if you don't, I still love you, just the same, don't worry. So, have a great day guys, and above all, be safe.